What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Han. Today, I'm going to be teaching y'all crazy combos to go from Cheeks to Comp in NBA 2K24. Make sure you do drop a like, sub, turn on post notifications. It's very much appreciated. I'm going to show you guys a couple clips to start off the video just so you guys know that you're watching somebody who can actually dribble. You know what I mean? I'm not going to teach you stuff and then, you know what I mean? Like... When you guys see these clips, you guys will be able to see what it looks like when you piece some of these moves together. I'm going to teach you guys that move, that little hesitation speed boost. I'm going to teach you guys this hezzy hop into the step back. I'm going to teach you guys a lot of different things in this video that will turn you guys into a completely different person. Like, I'm telling you, you'll be a completely different person after you watch this video. Boom, I'm going to teach you to spin into the half spin. Little glitchy move right there. I know a lot of different combos in this game, and I'm pretty much just going to put you guys on to every single thing I know in this video. So, you know, the likes are very much appreciated. I do appreciate everybody who popped out to the stream that I streamed. I had to end it because people were texting me wild stuff, and it was popping up on the stream. But just know, Twitch streams are going to be back, and I'll be streaming on Twitch a lot. So make sure you guys do follow the Twitch if you guys want to play with me, if you guys want to be in the stream anything like that but as you guys can see the dribble moves i definitely know how to dribble on this game and this video will definitely change the way you guys play this game now, i do have a lot more clips and stage gameplay but i usually record off my pc so the clips aren't really like you know they're not going to be on my playstation if i record them on my pc but this gives you guys a little look at you know what i mean you guys can pretty much see that i know how to dribble so let's get straight into this now the first thing i'm gonna do is show you guys dribble moves i will be changing dribble moves for certain moves to get open now i'm going to show you guys but you guys will see me change the dribble moves you guys could decide what dribble moves you guys want um when it comes to six sixes any build could pretty much do the dribble moves i'm going to teach you today there is some moves like maybe two moves or so that you guys aren't going to be able to do on tall builds but all you really have to do is look for the certain animation and you guys will be able to do all the same things i'm doing right now once that youtube paycheck hits i will be you know maxing out my six six and giving you guys official six from me but as of right now you just got you guys are just going to have to look at the moves i'm doing and then look at the animations and see what animations tie together and from there you guys are just going to have to you know what i mean go crazy with the six but 90 percent of the moves in this video all builds can do i did these same dribble moves last year on six eight six nines honestly you could dribble the same way on a tall guard as you would a small guard it's all about finding the right sigs and like i said i will be hooking you guys up soon with some if anybody in the chat i mean anybody in the comment section has some tall guard sigs that kind of you know replicate the moves that i'm doing today drop them i'll pin your comment immediately but soon you guys will have the six six stuff but like i said 90 percent of these moves you could do on tall builds as long as you guys find the right six so we're going to start off this video with one of the most popular moves that every build can do i'm going to tell you guys before every move i teach you if the move is doable on all builds and i'll try and tell you guys what sig you know changes the moves and you know has an effect on the moves so the first move is the crab crossover if you got a tall build put on kemba i'm pretty sure paul george can do it um there's a lot of different escapes that can do you know the crab crossover i'm using damian lillard you can use pretty much almost all escapes to do it and yeah this is what it looks like once you piece it in with the next move i'm going to teach you guys it's super overpowered because I'm going to teach you the Hezzy speed boost and I'm going to teach you the Crab speed boost and piece together. It's just left, right, cheese all over again. It's just like 2K22. So to do the Crab crossover, you're going to hold R2, flick your right stick diagonally up to the opposite side the ball is in. Ball is in your left hand, it will be between 1 and 2. Ball is in your right hand, it will be between 10 and 11. So boom. 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 And then from there, you're just going to let go. Like, you're just going to hold R2 and take off. You're going to let go of everything, hold R2 and take off. It's all about canceling the move at the right time if you guys want to get the right animation. But all you're doing is a crab move, 
letting go of everything and taking off with R2 and it's all about timing. So boom, I'm pretty sure you could do it with holding R2 down the whole entire time, but regardless, you're just taking turbo and canceling the move with the speed boost. That's all you're doing and every build can do that crab speed boost. Now the next thing I'm going to teach you guys is the hezi move. This move, bang, piece together, they're an unstoppable duo, man, I'm telling you. So to do the hezi move, what you're going to want to do is hold R2 and flick your right stick to the same side the ball's in. Ball's in your right hand, 3 o'clock. Ball's in your left hand, 9 o'clock. From there, you'll get that animation right there. Now what you're doing is the same thing you did with the crab speed boost. You're just flicking the right stick and then you're going to hold R2 and take off to cancel the move. So it's basically the same thing, just different. You know what I mean? Bang. Bang. Now I'm pretty sure any build can do this move too. It's just all about having the right sig. And yeah, that's pretty much that. Now the next thing I'm going to teach you guys is the hezi hop into the step back where you guys see me hit that really contested shot off this move. And I've used this move for years and I love using it because you can use the hezi hop and you could take off and speed boost to a fade. Or you can hezi hop step back or you can use the step back and just spam step backs like this. So there's multiple ways you could piece these same dribble moves together which is why I like them so much. Now to do the hezi hop, you're going to flick your right stick to the same side the ball is in. Either 3 if the ball is in your right hand or if the ball is in your left hand to 9. After that, you're going to do the opposite thing with your left stick. So your right stick goes to the same side, your left stick goes to the opposite side, both straight. And from there, you guys will get the hezi hop. Now to do the step back, you're just going to flick straight down with your right stick. I know Chris Paul, John Wall step back. And there's got to be a couple more that have this same step back. But that's all you got to do to do the hezi hop into the step back. Bang. And then you can use the hezi hop and just run out of the hezi hop if you guys want to. And hit a fade out of it. Hit a standstill. You can really do whatever you want with it. Now another thing you could do. The step back spam like I told you guys. Let me teach you how to do that. You're going to flick your right stick straight down. Which would be 6 o'clock. And then your left stick is going to go straight up. Which would be 12 o'clock. And then your left stick, I mean your right stick is going back down to 6. So right stick 6, left stick 12, right stick 6. Once you get the timing down, you'll be able to spam it a lot better and you'll be able to consistently do it. So that's how you do the hezi hop into the step back and that's how you do the step back spam. Now the next thing I'm going to teach you guys is the nutmeg into the Luka step back. This is a popular Stizo move that a lot of people, you know think is hard or whatever the case may be but i'm gonna teach you guys how to do it so you're gonna want to switch your step back to luca to get that luca step back obviously and then you can run back on the court and to do the nutmeg you have to run down the court holding turbo last year you didn't have to hold r2 to nutmeg this year you do so you're gonna run down the court holding turbo right and then you're gonna do three flicks with your right stick okay the right stick is going to go first to the same side the ball's in. Ball's in your left hand, straight to 9 o'clock. Ball's in your right hand, 3 o'clock. After that, you're going to flick it down to 5 o'clock. So if the ball's in your left hand, down to 5 o'clock like you're doing a behind the back move. So you know how you come down the court and do a behind the back? It's literally the same exact way you would come down the court and do a behind the back. You're just flicking it diagonally down to the opposite side the ball's in. So the first stick... If the ball is in your left hand, you're flicking it straight to the same side the ball is in. So straight to 9 o'clock, 5 o'clock, and then after that you're going to flick it straight up to 12 o'clock. So it's three flicks. Ball is in your left hand, 9, 5, 12. Ball is in your right hand, 3, 7, 12. So that's all you got to do when you're running down the court. You hold turbo, three stick flicks. You guys see that, right? Three. That's all it is. I'm going to do it one more time. And then after that, all you got to do is flick straight down on your right stick. And you can get the Luka step back. You can do that anywhere on the court, really. Like that. You can do it pretty much anywhere. So let me show you guys one more time the whole scenery of the moves.
So that's how you do the nutmeg into the Luka step back. Now the next move I'm going to teach you guys is the misdirection spin. This is one of my new favorite moves to do this year. Bang. You could do it in a lot of different ways and chain it in a lot of different ways. You could either use the forward or you could use the behind the back misdirection. It's all up to you guys. Now what you're going to want to do, to I'm going to teach you both the misdirections first. right? I'm going to teach you behind the back. And then I'm going to teach you guys the, the forward misdirection too. It's a little delayed in here, so sometimes I'll get the wrong animation. You guys just got to, you know, bear with me, right? So to do the forward misdirection, you're going to hold R2. Flick your right stick diagonally up to the opposite side of the ball's end. Ball's in your right hand up to 11. Ball's in your left hand up to 1. Well, I would say between 10 and 11 and between 1 and 2. So... Diagonally up to the opposite side the ball is in and then your left stick is going to go straight to the same side the ball is in which would be nine o'clock if it's in your left hand it would be three o'clock if it's in your right hand so you're basically holding R2 right stick diagonally up to the opposite side left stick to the same side as you guys can see bang 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 and then after that you're still going to be holding R2 and you're going to hold your left stick straight down and it'll give you the spin back, all right? Now, let me show you guys the spin back. Bang. That's the half spin into the spin back, which is what I'm going to teach you guys. But if you guys are just doing the spin back, that's what it'll look like. So that's how you do the misdirection into the spin. Now, if you guys want to do the behind the back misdirection, which is like this, you're just going to flip it, okay? Instead of flicking your right stick up to the left or up to the right, you're going to flick it down to the left or down to the right. It's literally the same exact thing, just flipped. And once you do it down to the right or down to the left, you guys will get the behind the back misdirection. And then you just hold R2, flick your right stick straight down. I mean, left stick goes straight down and you'll get the spin. Now, if you want to do the half spin, which is this. You're going to rotate your right stick. It depends on what hand the ball is in. It's going to go from either 10 to 2 or 2 to 10, depending on what hand the ball is in. All right, so let me show you one more time. In that play, the ball was in my left hand, and I went from 10 to 2. If the ball is in your right hand, you go from 2 to 10, and you do the half spin. It's that easy. Now, the next thing I'm going to teach you guys is a misdirection twist. Hold on. Got the wrong Andy right there. Wrong animation. That's the misdirection twist, right? Now to do the misdirection twist, you're going to do the misdirection that I already taught you guys how to do. And then you're going to speed boost out of it. You could really do it out of any move that gives you that ugly speed boost. So that ugly speed boost right there where they flick the hand in front of you, you could do it off of any move that has that speed boost. So you're basically going to misdirection, speed boost, but you're going to want to speed boost at an angle so then you can... um get the animation so you're going to speed boost and kind of like run a little bit backwards and then you're going to do the same half spin so the half spin i told you guys 10 to 2 or 2 to 10 you're basically just doing the same thing so misdirection run kind of backwards half spin run kind of backwards half spin and you could really do it with you know any move that has that type of speed boost right i low-key messed up that time my fault See, any move that has that speed boost, you could do it out the hezzy hop. You could do it out of really anything that gives you that ugly speed boost. So that's how you do the misdirection spin into the half spin. How you do the misdirection twist, all that. Now, the next thing I'm going to teach you is the glitchy breakdown combo. Hold on, I got to switch a dribble move for this. Now, for this, what you're going to need is John Morant aggressive breakdown combos. And then you're going to need James Harden moving crossover. That's what I feel like really gets the move to look nice. You could use D-Fox if you want. But James Harden is what really made it like, I don't know. It just makes it look different. Because you guys are going to see, right? The move I just showed you guys, this is the same exact move. Hold on. You see that right there? That's basically the same exact move that I just showed you guys. But the moving crossover is going to depend like what animation you get. It's really hard to do it inside of the my court. I mean, the Gatorade facility, because it's really delayed. But I'm going to teach you guys how to do it. So R2, 
flick your right stick straight up, you'll get this animation, right? Once your player moves the ball like that to like the other hand, once the ball bounces from the right to the left hand, then from there, you're going to move your left stick up left and then down right. So up to like 11 and then down to like 5, right? And then you're just going to do the same thing, R2 and flick the right stick straight up. So it's just a little process of three different things. Hold on. And it's all about timing. So you got to kind of wait. Once you do the first move, right, you're going to want to wait until your player runs back like that in order to do the move all over again. I'm low-key messing up because of this delay. I'm not going to lie, but. So. It's all about catching the timing down. As you guys can see, like the, the better you get the timing down, the more glitchy it'll look. You get different animations depending on like how good you do it and how consistent you are with it. I'm obviously messing it up and not getting the same animation every time because the delay kind of makes it impossible for me to time the delay in here every time because it's one of those moves that timing really does have to be on point in order for you guys to get the right animations. So that's the right animation. That last animation you guys just seen. Hold on. Now let me show you what it looks like in game real quick so you guys understand what the move is supposed to look like. You get what I mean? So this move right here, right? That spin behind the back. That's what it'll look like when you guys do it right. So... Then you guys know when you're doing it right and when you're doing it wrong and stuff like that. I'll see if I could do it one more time. Hold up. I'm so impatient. There you go. So that's how you do it. That's It's just all about getting the timing down. I'm still getting it down because it's something that I just learned how to do. But the next thing I'm going to teach you guys is the D Fox moving cross. Now, the D-Fox moving cross is really glitchy. I'm going to say shout out to my boy hezi 2 k because he really uses this. And this is one of his main moves that he uses. And it's super overpowered. But you run to the paint. It switches the ball hand you're in when you do the crossover. And it's super overpowered because you could just run back out. There's a lot of things you could do with this. It might not look that overpowered, that little crossover right there. But I'm telling you guys, it will get you to the paint so much. And then you could just... Come back out to the three point if you want and bust the three. It might not seem overpowered, but I'm telling you, in game it is overpowered. If y'all watch Hezzy 2K, y'all can see him actually do the move, and y'all see y'all can see you know how overpowered it is. But that's how you do the D Fox. Well, I didn't even teach you guys how to do it. <laughs> that's what it looks like. To do the move, you're gonna run down the court holding turbo, and then you're gonna flick your right stick straight to the opposite side of the balls. And balls in your right hand is going to nine o'clock. Balls in your left hand is going to 3 o'clock. So, boom. I'm going to show you one more time. And it sets up a really nice speed boost. So, then you guys can get a nice dunk. You guys get what I mean? So, that's how you do the nice little D-Fox moving crossover. I really do like it. I think it's overpowered. The next thing I'm going to teach you guys is the James Harden moving crossover crab move. Now, the Asta slide don't work no more. For the people that know that, the Asta slide was an overpowered move in 2K20, um, 2K23 and 22. Honestly, I used it in both, and it was super overpowered in both. But this year, you know, it took a real huge nerf. A lot of things took a huge nerf. So this is a really good, you know, replacement. Now, you're going to need James Harden moving cross to do this. Hold on, y'all. Let me, let me figure out how to do it again. All right, y'all see that right there, that little move I just did? You guys will probably see solo, a lot of people doing this move right here, right? And basically, if you're running up the court and somebody is pressing you and you do that move, you'll get right in front of them for a nice little crab. It might not seem crazy, but if you guys watch certain people, certain people will... A lot of people use this move. It's really comp in the comp scene. A lot of people use it to get crabs. And what you're going to want to do is just run up the court holding R2. And then your left stick is just going to make its way to the bottom left. So you're just going to go. You guys see how I moved it down diagonal to like 8 or 7. If the ball is in the other hand, you'll just move it to like 
four or five, right? So it's just diagonally down to the opposite side the ball is in. You'll get that little slide move. It's a really good replacement for the Asta slide. And in the comp scene, a lot of people use it, bro. It might not seem overpowered, but I'm telling y'all, I wouldn't be setting y'all up with no booty gerbil moves, you feel me? Now, I know I'm not getting the right animation right now. It's honestly just because I don't really do this move too much. But that's how you guys do it. That's all it is. Just a little slide move like that. And you guys can get in front of your defenders, combo up, and get the crab open. It might not seem overpowered, but I promise you it is once you get it down. It's all with James Harden moving cross. Now, the next thing I'm going to teach you guys is a couple standstill combos before we get go ahead and wrap this video up. And, yeah, let me change my six so then I can show you guys my official standstill combos. And we'll get ready to wrap this up, man. I pretty much taught you guys a lot. I don't know how long my hand cam was disconnected there. I hope it wasn't disconnected for too long because it just disconnected a minute ago. But I hope it wasn't disconnected for too long. Now, let me change my step back. All right, y'all. So these are the six that I like to use. I am going to teach you guys another move to get open to real quick. Hold on. Now, this next move I'm going to teach you gives a really nice speed boost. And it's like a really good misdirection, right? So if you... Hold on. So this move right here, right? You're going to flick straight up on your right stick. I'm pretty sure this has to do with your um, breakdown combo, the regular breakdown, not the aggressive one. And basically what you're going to want to do is wait until the ball is in the opposite hand, right? You just flick your right stick straight up. You'll get this animation and then wait till the ball is in the opposite hand. So let's say the ball is in the left hand and you want to take off to the right. Just wait till it's in the left hand and then take off to the right. Bang, you get a really nice speed boost. The more you guys get used to it, you know, you could cancel this move pretty quick. You could cancel it pretty much as quick as you want like that. Bang. And it's really good for misdirecting people. Like, super good. Like, I ain't gonna lie. The speed boost out of it is just lethal as long as you guys know how to actually get the speed boost to trigger. And then when you guys put in everything else... Bang, it's, it's just super overpowered and it gets you open a lot. So that's another move. Now let me teach you guys some standstill combos, right? So um, another thing I want to show you guys, you guys can actually do the nutmeg into the half spin. So if you guys want to, I already taught you guys the nutmeg, I already taught you guys the half spin and the Luka step back. You guys could piece that stuff together too. A lot of these things piece together and you could use them, you know, to combo up. That's the whole purpose of these moves is to combo up. So let me show you guys some more moves real quick. I know I'm dribbling terrible in here, but it's just because of the delay, honestly. Now, first thing I'm going to teach you is the momentum. You're going to hold R2, flick your right stick diagonally up to the opposite side of the ball's end. Ball's in your right hand up to like 11, 10, 11, around that area. Ball's in your left hand between like one two in that little area right there and then you're going to take off to the same side with your left stick so if the ball is in your right hand and you're doing the move to the left you're going to take off to the left if the ball is in your left hand you're going to take off to the right as you guys can see if i want a momentum to the left i'm taking off to the left if i want a momentum to the right i'm taking off to the right that's all you guys got to do to momentum it's super easy now, the next thing I'm going to teach you guys is the tween crossover. Now, the tween is just a little between the legs that I like to piece into my dribble moves. This is what it looks like. You know what I'm saying? You could. I love doing the tween. It's a nice move. Now, I'm not good at tween spamming, but I am good at doing the tween with the momentum. That's one of my favorite things to do. So, to do the regular tween move, you're going to hold R2. And then you're going to flick your right stick straight to the opposite side of the ball's end. Ball's in your right hand, straight to nine. Ball's in your left hand, straight to three. And then you're going to take off to that same side with the left stick. Bang. So that's all you got to do to do the tween. It's super easy. I'm not good at tween spamming or just doing the tween alone. But that's how you tween. Now, other than that. Is there anything you guys need to know? Oh, the last move. 
I guess I'll teach you guys how to do the crab into this thief Francis. Oh, I got another move to teach y'all too. Hold on. So the crab into the Steve Francis, I'm not good at spamming it because I don't really use the Steve Francis that much since the nerf. But you're just going to do the crab move I taught you guys earlier. And then when you do the, when you flick your right stick diagonally up to the opposite side, the ball's in. Ball's in your left hand up to like between 1 and 2. Ball's in your right hand between like 10 and 11. You'll get that animation. When you piece them together... It works the best with Trey Young Escape because that's really what it's made for. And I don't really do it a lot, so it might not look effective. But the faster you get it down, there's people who spam this super fast and it's super overpowered. So that's how you do the crab into the Steve Francis. The last thing I'm going to teach you guys is this. It's basically a crab spam, right? I like it a lot. You can speed boost out of it. You can misdirect people with this. It. Just another one of those moves that confuses defenders. To do this, you're going to hold R2, flick your right stick straight down. You'll get that animation. After that, you're going to do the crab move that I already taught you guys how to do. And just piece it together, man. That's all you guys got to do. Even when you get the wrong animation, it still looks clean, but the better you get it down, the less wrong animations you'll get. And the only reason I'm getting a, long, a lot of wrong animations today is specifically just because, you know, the Gatorade facility is a little, it's a little more delayed than playing in the park. But as you guys can see, you can spam this super fast and you can speed boost out of it, hit a three, do whatever you guys got to do. Now that pretty much wraps up today's dribble tutorial. Like I said, 90% of these moves can be done on any build. If I had a maxed out 6-6 right now, I would be doing the same exact thing on my 6-6. I promise you guys that I will be dropping some 6-6 videos this week. You know, going crazy on a 6-6. My friend has one and he told me I could play with it till I max mine out. So I'll be on that very soon. And you guys will be able to see some 6-6 combos. But that pretty much wraps it up for today. And I appreciate every single one of you watching. I hope this video turned you from cheeks to comp, for real.